Hello dear Geminis, welcome to your reading for the monthly horoscope of June and for a lot of amongst you who have a birthday in June, happy happy birthday dear Geminis. This is your month, it absolutely is your month. It's all about who am I, who, who am I and who am I. So how you're going to profile yourself is super super important. There are so many changes that have been happening for you. And uh, let's break this down. This whole month is actually Mercury, your ruler, is doing the most stuff. It's been in Taurus during the retrograde. And uh, notwithstanding the fact that on the 30th of May, you already feel these new beginnings coming up for you because of the new moon in your sign. Uh, definitely on the fixed star Aldebaran. So this is all about new beginnings. So definitely there's a new way of doing you. And it could mean like literally like you have just put all the old clothes out of the closets and restore them um, with new clothes that suit you better and uh, all of that kind of thing. But um, meanwhile, there has been going on a... You could say a lot of transformative energy when it comes to your mind. And Mercury has been in your 12th house for quite a while there in Taurus. And it has been, yes, squaring up to Saturn. That was a little bit tough there when it comes to your mind. So it might have given you even problems to sleep. Um, but because your mind was like going like this. But on a positive level, don't forget that Mercury has bumped into Pluto for three times in a positive trine. So that was on the 28th of April, the 25th of May, and now the 10th, the 11th of June. Mercury trining Pluto. This is fantastic for you. It means that there is this, I've been talking about this, there is this emotional support. There is this support from the unseen world. I know it. it it's all very... La La Land kind of energy, you could say, which Geminis like to smile about, but you're going to feel it. You're going to feel that it's quite grounded and that you have been able to sort out the mind, so to speak, and to transform you. So when Mercury goes into your sign again, which will be on the 14th of June, you will really feel uplifted. You will feel uplifted already when Mercury goes direct uh, which is on the 4th of June, but it's still in your 12th house. So it's still like preparing itself. You are preparing things behind the scenes and it's good to do. And when you have new projects, new things on your mind, new activities that you want to start, the best is to start that when uh, after the 14th of June. Then um, Mercury is... Um, the 14th of June, Mercury is back into Gemini, but even better on the 19th of June, because then it's out of its shadow period. You know, four degrees of Gemini is out of its shadow period. And um, so it's all there for new contracts, new communications, new, uh, you could say, new plans. And you are going to be speaking a lot during that time. So if you need to do a very important thing, uh, a very, signing something very important, I would recommend it doing after the 19th, but doing it after the 14th is also okay for you. And even if you can't wait, doing after the 4th of June at least, because then Mercury goes direct. So, but definitely for you Geminis, you've been going through a lot, you know, especially last year with all the eclipses there. And now you are profiling yourself in a totally different way. And I really, really like that for you. And meanwhile, you have Mars and Jupiter in your 11th house. So the, the activity is also in the networking, being social, being amongst friends and you taking the leadership, you initiating friendships, you giving it the direction. And with Jupiter there in the 11th house, if you are looking for a friend that can be very beneficial for you, it's now that it's going to happen because Jupiter in the 11 gives friends that are very beneficial, very Jupiterian-like, maybe from another culture or at least another background and that have that are very fiery because of Aries there 
or that has some mus masculine traits, you know, man or female, it doesn't matter, with Mars there as well. And it's uplifting for you because they can... So if you're looking for a job, for instance, go out, go networking, go with friends, talk about what you want and what is your intention with the job. And of course, act upon it, but it's going to help you with uh, finding the right people who are able to support you as well. Anyway, have a fantastic birthday, um, dear uh, Gemini. And the full moon is going to be on the 14th in the seventh house as well, on 23 degrees of Sagittarius. So there's definitely... Because you have, you are going to profile yourself in a different way. Definitely, relationships are going to reveal itself, whether they are getting an upgrade or uh, or not. So, um, thank you so much for listening, dear Gemini. Su subscribe and comment and, and do whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.